what is going on covenant fam so i am here um at the home terminal in chat and um i am so tired i really need to be getting to bed i've been up since yesterday last night and i drove us um like i made both of our stops and then came here and then i had to go straight into class because it was like literally down to the wire but um we got here and um, we did the class. We got our new Qualcomm system. I'm gonna make just a once over. But isn't it awesome? It looks so good. And then like you can unhook it from there. And it's like a full on tablet. Um, I'm gonna put it back where it belongs. And um, this is like the screensaver thing. And then you like swipe up. Come on. Swipe up to open. And it starts like that and everything. So it's cool. I like it. It's like a lot more to it. Um, want to go into like explaining how to use it. I'm still learning how to use it. So once I have like the ins, the outs, the shortcuts, and the things that. Um, will help me be able to explain it easier to you guys I'll do that but I don't know how to explain it right now um so I just wanted to kind of show you guys what it looks like and um I'm also doing this um video because two things um I saw the dorms I like them the lobby in the dorms is really nice it's like i don't even know how to explain it like it's nice it's clean yeah it's a brick but like it's i don't know it's nice it's not like um they just stacked bricks and then like left it it's not like rough looking if that makes sense um but it's like gray and blue and like it's cool um I, I like it I don't know but then again I'm all things covenant so you know I'd say you guys judge it for yourself maybe one of these times I'll be able to um get a tour going and hopefully they will take me up there to look around and see um what it looks like and stuff but everybody was super tired today and they were ready to go home and then they were concerned about the storm um the storm warnings so um that's something and then um so that was one of the things i wanted to talk to you guys about and then um oh my god get it out girl get it out um jeez louise oh for those of you that smoke For those of you that smoke, I'm going to say it one more time. <clears throat> Excuse me. For those of you that smoke, you got to decide when and if you're going to grow up. And I know y'all probably getting offended by that or whatever. Like, what she mean? I'm grown. Not if you're going to be in this industry. There's no way that you can do this job and smoke. We have had so many refusals and failures for DOT drug testing. Covenant is a urine testing and they don't do the hair follicle. CBD is still showing up on the DOT drug screening. Do not set yourself up for that. If you cannot let it go, you don't need to be in trucking. I'm sorry. You just can't. It, you cannot do this job that's a high concentrating job and smoke. You got to pick one. You got to choose. And those of you that aren't sure or you can't because you're dig you got to smoke from the time you wake up then you wake up in the middle of the night you smoke and then you smoke when you get up you smoke all day like if you're that type you need to 
go into rehab or something and I'm not even being funny like you either get help then you start your career or you don't have a career and you just smoke your life away and have some local mediocre job warehouse or a grocery store or department store or something like that gas station attendant something like that and again I'm not being funny I'm not picking on you I'm not saying that that's all you're going to amount to what I'm saying is is being out here you cannot put yourself and everybody else other motorists at risk because you like to chase the high it's not worth it it's not worth anyone's life or your license or anything like that why go through all the trouble and work so hard just for you to fail a drug test that doesn't make sense don't set yourself up like that it's a waste of time it's a waste of your time it's a waste of covenant's time or any company you try to go to it's just a waste so if you're gonna be the party party or gotta have it gotta smoke all the time type of person this is not for you when you're done messing with that stuff and you're ready to, you know, kind of grow up, join the real world, adults, and having a career and doing what needs to be done out here, when you're ready, let us know. Because, again, it, it you just setting yourself up for failure. Literally. And that will follow you. It stays on your license. And... I have somebody that I know that has failed and has the clearinghouse thing. They have to pay close to $1,000 and they have to take these classes in order for them to clear themselves and then they have to retest again. So they have to take all them classes and do all this stuff and then they have to test again to make sure that they're clean in order for them to get their license back. Why go through all that? It's just, it's like I said, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. So don't do that. Um, too many failures, too many refusals to even test, which will result in a fail. If you don't want to test, they know you're afraid of something, that you might think that you might be dirty. And they will put that as a fail. It'll re a fail due to refusal of testing so again don't do that to yourselves okay um that's not worth your license going through school and everything else and paying all that money and then you got that loan to pay back because now you can't find a job that will hire you so just don't do it guys um and there was something else oh my gosh i had it i promise it was all that uh, I don't know I don't know I watch me think of it right when I close this out but uh point being I'm trying to think of what it was I can't think of what it was anyway um just do what you gotta do out here get your license get it together you know even drinking even drinking drinking is a definite no and you know what you do at home is on you you have 12 hours before you are to drive that you need to be clear so you it's not wise to drink 12 hours before you actually drive but to be honest just don't do it at all like if your party days is over let it be over like it's time to make money it's not time to you know be out here chasing the streets you know um those of you young ones maybe you might want to be able to do both but um to me what i'm doing i'm done with the whole you know partying and drinking and all that other stuff i'm waiting until my retirement age you know late 40s early 50s so that i can go out with my husband and we can go and travel and do things that'll be my fun time 
so just keep that in mind guys and um if you have any questions please 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 let me know you guys already know how this works <laughs> um so until next time guys uh bye